Hey guys, it is October 15th afternoon. Ryan and I are back down on the River Bottom Farm. I didn't make it out all week due to work and just a bunch of stuff going on. So this is uh, my first sit since last Sunday. We had a front blow through yesterday and the high temps today are about 60. We're actually set up in the pinch. We have a southwest wind. The wind switched from northwest to southwest, which has warmed it up a little bit more than it was yesterday. My primary target is Kelsey. He's been coming through here. He actually came through this morning. We just got pictures from this morning a little while ago. I was coming here anyway, but it was, it was uh, good to see him coming through here. He's been so active on the whole property that you never quite know where he is, but his pattern has been that if he, you know, comes in kind of late morning to bed, it was 7.30, he, he probably is bedded in the peninsula here. So hopefully he works his way back out this direction and we can see him tonight. The main thing getting that picture does is it makes me not want to shoot does. I said last time I was uh, hunting that I wouldn't pass up a doe until we got closer to pre-rut. But I think with this front and him being right here this morning, I'll probably just keep this spot uh, quiet. I think we're going to come back here in the morning if we don't uh, get a shot at him tonight. So we've got about two and a half hours to go. Rye has his bow in the stand as well. We've got a couple bucks on Rye's hit list. Excited to be back in this stand. It's one of my most favorite stands on the on the farm. So overcast and gusty, but the wind is supposed to die down. That last hour, we had one fawn work through, and we've got a what is it? Yeah, spike. Got it. Oh, I see a couple deer right there. We're gonna get settled in and see how the hunt goes.
Well, I was not expecting a 20 plus deer night on October 15th. That was one of the best mid-October hunts I've ever been on. It was a uh, nonstop action the entire time we were there. And uh, I mean, right after we got set up, my interview got interrupted and it was nonstop action the entire time. Um, I, I was intending in the opening interview to talk to you guys about why I chose to sit there. I'm sure some people are wondering why I'd go sit in the pinch because we think of that spot as you know one of the better uh, spots on the farm as a rut spot. And it's one of these funnels that is between bedding and then some big ag field. So it's not like a funnel between two doe bedding areas. So the deer just naturally work their way through there every night. It's not that intrusive actually hunting there. We can, uh, we're just right off the field edge. So we can take the Tor V right up to uh, that native grass patch and then just pop in 50 yards of ground scent with a good uh, west wind. Also, as far as this farm goes, it's one of the main pockets of oaks. It's a bunch of red oaks, there's a few white oaks, and as you could tell, uh, tons of acorns on the ground. And, and that's really what they were doing there, they were feeding. We actually had deer come out of the peninsula, come feed, and then work their way back to the south, which almost never happened. So they, they were coming to just eat acorns and then move off to the area they were originally gonna go to. We saw six different bucks, the oldest was you know, I would say probably it was two different two and a half year olds. And then just a whole bunch of does confirming what I mentioned last time. I mean, boy, do we have some does to shoot out here. And uh, I didn't want to shoot any tonight. Not really so much to mess up tonight's hunt, but more the morning. I have a lot of confidence in tomorrow morning at trying to get a shot at Kelsey. And I didn't want to be messing around, loading up does, putting a bunch of ground set. He was there this morning at around 7.30. And so we're gonna get back in that set. We left most of our stuff up in the tree. Pretty cool to hear that doe vocalize so much. I don't think I've ever heard a doe bleat and grunt that much. I mean, she grunted and bleated all evening after dark, just kept on. She was just talking, letting everybody know what, what she was up to. It was a pretty neat thing to see. Anyway, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow.